finally, after a couple of years, Microsoft released a brand new design for Microsoft Edge browser with a brand new trailer. And let's quickly refresh our memory how the new design looks like. Now, as you saw in the trailer, new design looks absolutely stunning. However, unfortunately, it isn't enabled by default on the latest stable version of Microsoft Edge. But what if I would tell you that you can enable almost all new design features with a few tweaks that you can make to the Microsoft Edge if you follow this tutorial. With that said, get subscribed, leave a like down below and let's get started. So if you want to get a brand new design for your current Microsoft Edge, make sure that you follow right now. At the top right, just click on this and make sure that you then select here settings. Down below, make sure that you click about Microsoft Edge and make sure that you, your Microsoft Edge is up to date. As of recording this video, Microsoft Edge is on version 114. After you updated your Microsoft Edge, you can close this tab and then you can go to the top title bar. Then you will need to search for Edge colon slash slash flags. Then you can press enter and here we will enable a few experimental flags which will enable this brand new design of Microsoft Edge. So for the first flag, let's go to this input window at the top and let's search for the project Kodiak. And now you can go here where it says default for the project Kodiak terminology and make sure that you set this to enabled. Now. Don't click on the restart down below because we will need to enable a few more flags and then we will restart the browser altogether. Now here you will also need to enable project Kodiak look and feel. So basically from default, make sure that you enable this flag as well. Now let's go back to the top input window and let's search for the Microsoft Edge split screen. Now this will enable a brand new split screen feature for the Microsoft Edge. So just repeat the process and make sure that you change this from default to enabled. After that, let's delete the split and make sure that you have Microsoft Edge typed in and let's search for the rounded corners. And here, make sure that you change this one to enabled as well. Now make sure that you delete the rounded here and make sure that you search for basic title bar and toolbar and enable this flag as well. And uh, now you can basically delete this and search for the profile icon in title bar. So make sure that you enable this flag as well. And now for the last one, make sure that you search for the make rounded tabs feature available. So here it should be this flag. After you changed this flag from default to enabled, then you can also click restart to restart your Microsoft Edge browser. So down below, you can also see which flags we have enabled. You can also screenshot this if you want to. And if you go here to the top and then you can click here, go to the settings, you can go here to the appearance. And if you scroll down, you can also see which options are enabled. So here, this feature wasn't previously available. So use rounded corners for browser tabs. So this is currently enabled and this is being enabled by the flags. So, and also the other one show account icon in the title bar is as well enabled, but you can also disable them both here. Now, yeah, I think that the brand new Microsoft Edge browser looks fantastic. Here at the top, we have the profile. We also have this uh, vertical tabs as you see them here. Now you also have this split screen window. So here we have, for example, the settings and the flags option here. 
So all these brand new design features from a brand new Microsoft Edge, which uh, you actually saw in the trailer, are right now available in this stable version of Microsoft Edge. You will just need to enable a few flags to be able to see pretty much all these design features from the trailer. So this is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you click on that subscribe button and you can also like this video as well. Now, if you want, you can also buy me a coffee on coffee.com. Link is in the video description as well. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. Have an amazing rest of your day, guys. And I see you all in the next one. Peace.